Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for the question. <laughs> Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, very good. Um, oh, I see. Oh, hello, Jorge. I see you're you're you driving. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. Hi. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Um, it is Friday. Um, almost weekend. So, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. It's almost a weekend. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it's it's. Take care, friend. Take care, friend. George, driving. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I'm driving. I'm driving. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost so. Speaking of the weekend, anybody have any special plans for this weekend? No, only do the laundry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's 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 a good plan. <laughs> any other plans for the weekend? No, miss. In my case, no. Uh, no yet. Not yet. No. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Any any plans? Any? Um, any? Maybe. Uh, maybe I, I I'm going to clean clean <laughs> my my house. Like You're going to clean. Bed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. So. You 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 haven't decided if you're going to clean it or not. Uh yes, I I I let me see. I choice I choice the I don't know uh, between I will choice between uh cleaning or or rest or, or rest. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's that's a hard choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully you do clean it up. <laughs> you have the. Yeah. yeah nice. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Any um any any other um any other uh plans that you guys have? No, no plans? You sure? In my, in my case, I, I went for the weekend to rent. Uh, this is a good week, but or, or, uh, a little tighter. And yeah, I want to the rest, stay home, uh maybe maybe go shopping. Um yeah, that's my plan. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Very, very good. Um okay, all right. Seems like the majority of you guys are now connected. Um, give me a moment right now. I'm going to um, take attendance. So guys, remember, um, I'm gonna be taking attendance right now. So if you guys can do me the favor of, um, of having uh, your cameras on, that would be great. Mm, uh, por cierto, quería preguntar, 
uh, ¿cómo vamos a ir con, con los documentos para, para la nueva inscripción? Eh, en, eh, yo, pues, fíjese que yo le dije, mi sal, uh, al licenciado, pero eh, sí estaba bien ocupado, sinceramente. Mm. Este, solo me dijo, este, eh, ya voy a ver, ya voy a arreglar eso, me dijo. Y, bueno, le dije sí, porque sí lo vi medio llenito de, de documentos y, y lo está ahí como es este cierre de, de mes. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, como que, vea, entonces el lunes ya veremos a ver qué tal, le voy a volver a decir. De hecho, le voy a escribir, ¿no? mañana le voy a escribir, para okay. ver qué, porque creo que llegaría, debe llegar mañana. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, a ver qué tal. Está, okay. Estamos en pendiente. Okay. In the castle, right? Okay, very good, very good. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? How are you doing with the documents? In my case, I igual pregunté y me dijeron ya que estaba como en firma. Entonces, eh, que posterior a eso eh, iban a reenviarles a ustedes los papeles. Entonces, yo el lunes vuelvo a preguntar a ver cómo va, si ya está en proceso o qué falta. Okay. Pero Lo sigo pendiente yo. Ok, perfecto. Ok, what about the rest of you? En mi caso, mi jefe se comprometió de enviarlos mañana. Por ah, perfecto. Perfecto. Eso es okay. perfecto. Tengo que recordarle. Sí, eso, eso, que buena idea. Uh, si puede recordarle, sería mucho que mejor. Porque sí, como, eh, más eh, en estas fechas, ¿verdad? Que que es como uh, fechas que eh, principio de, finales de mes, principio de mes, siempre como que son fechas más, más ocupadas para, para las personas con responsabilidades, ¿verdad? Y en el trabajo. Entonces, eh, se si pueden eh, estar recordando, sería mucho que mejor. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿y los demás? En mi caso, eh, me informaron que hoy por la mañana fueron enviados. Mm, ok, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Um, ok, eh, ¿alguna otra situación que, que tengan ustedes ahorita? ¿No? Eh, Marlon, ¿tiene usted alguna idea de cómo van los documentos? Uh, pues yo ayer hablé con la, con la licenciada que, que lleva todo el proceso de inscripción y me dijo que ya estaba en proceso de enviarlo. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Eh, muy bien, excelente. Eh, teacher, yo justo estoy viendo ahorita el correo que al parecer sí ya los enviaron de parte ah. de... de... De talento humano. De, 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 de ok, excelente, excelente. Ya vamos entonces, ya casi completando. Muy bien. Um, eh, quiero ver. Sergio, ¿no se encuentra ahí? Sergio Chamorro. No, no está Sergio. Ok, bueno, creo que no, entonces. Um, ok. Ok, very good, everybody. Entonces, me, me alegra que todo pareciera como que oigo eh, música música ah ah <laughs> okay Maybe Jorge tenía no, no 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 malo no malo I'm sorry ah Por, por, dice, por Sergio, dice usted. Yes. 
Ah, ok, ok, ya, ya lo entendí. Uh, bueno, it's Friday. <laughs> ok, all right, guys. Um, ok, so um, I'm glad that, um, I'm glad to hear that we, the majority of us are already, um, you know, finished with the documents or almost finished. Um, sí, como decía, el, la idea es de que así podamos eh, completar ahí el grupo y poder nuevamente empezar ahí con, con las clases lo, cua, en cuanto antes. Esa es la idea. Ok. Um, ok, ok. Uh, quiero ver. Ok, let me start with then with the attendance. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Okay, good. Asalia Milan. Asalia Melanie. Present, good evening. Okay. Eh, Podríamos um, encender la cámara solo para la para la licencia. Solo para saber que es usted. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, ahorita. Okay. Okay, ahí está. Gracias, gracias, Salia. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Carlos Alberto Orego. Carlos Alberto. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm here. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Okay, Carlos Eliezer. Carlos Eliezer. Okay. Um, Denise, Alejandra? Present. Excellent. Uh, Diana Jamilet? Present teacher. Excellent. Edith, uh, Edith Adilia? Present. Okay. Um, can we turn on the camera, um, Edith, for, for the attendance? Ah, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ismael Ernesto Boyat? Ismael Ernesto Boyat? No? Um, Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Excellent, thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Wonderful. Raquel Elizabeth Lazo. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. No. Ok. Sandra Ivet Mendoza. Sandra Ivet. No. Eh, Sara Rachel Salazar. Gracias, no, Wonderful. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Está contestando. Sergio. Ah. 
Okay. Bueno. Um, and Vilma Elizabeth Akian. Vilma Elizabeth. Tampoco. Wow, tenemos varios faltantes hoy. Hmm. Okay. Bueno. All right, guys. Um, so uh, we are going to start um, our class um, for the last day of this week. Um, okay, so please tell me um, if uh, you... Actually, um, hold on. Um, yeah, so please tell me if you can see uh, my PowerPoint or not. Yes, miss. Oh, yes. perfect. Okay, so- Yes, please. Like, wonderful, thank you. So this is the English for Work program, it's day number 14, and the date is Thursday, June 12th, sorry, June 2, or sorry, June 2nd, 2023, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's start. Um, all right, so... Um, Remember, if I ask you any questions, you can ask, you can answer, excuse me, can you repeat that? Or can you speak more slowly? Or how do you spell and then use the word? Or what's the answer for number four? Or how do you say and then the word in English? Or how do you say and then the word, sorry, what does the word da 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 mean? Or how do you pronounce this word? Okay. Um, okay, so let's start. Yesterday, hold on, just a moment. It's fine, it's just a moment, like guys. Oh, Okay, sorry. All right. Um, okay, so yesterday we started talking about should and shouldn't. Do you remember, or should or should not? Uh, what is the contracted form of should, should not? Shouldn't, shouldn't. Very good, exactly. Just shouldn't. Okay. So, um, so we say, so basically, um, should and shouldn't, or better said should, means that you think that it's a good idea for somebody to do something. Shouldn't means that it's not a good idea, okay? So you say, for example, the card should answer my good morning greeting. You think that that's a good idea. You think uh, when you say should, you're saying that that for you is good behavior, okay? So you say the guard should answer my good morning, morning greeting. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor use should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. You're saying that those um, behaviors are good in your eyes, okay? Now, when you're using should, should not, or shouldn't, 
it's because you're saying it's not a good idea to do that. So that uh, should not use emojis in his um in his I know who I love it, one, in his emails. Um Helen should not speak so loudly. The um, Gabriela sorry, Gab Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes and your boss should not shout at you or shouldn't in contracted. It means that you think that that's not a good idea, okay? So just to remind you what the structure is, we use should plus, Close um, the base form. The base the form. Good, exactly. Okay, so we always use should plus space form the verb. Or if you're using should not, we use should not plus. The base form of the word. It's the same. It's the exactly. same base. Exactly. Very good. So we always use this. That's our structure. That's just a review of what we saw last class because this is something we already saw. Okay. Miss, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, we can we can use the infinitive. No. Um. The infinitive. Um is with the two so that means that so that would mean like this the guard should to answer mm, okay and that is no that would be a no okay, okay. You you cannot say the guard should to answer. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Okay. All right. So I am. Um, all right. So this is um some something that I asked uh, that was a review because I asked you guys um to oh. It's not, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Fun. Okay, so yeah, so I sent you guys uh, for homework, um, this activity that I wanted you guys to do. Do you guys remember this activity? Yeah, do you remember? This was no, for homework. No les mandé eso de tarea. No. No, no, miss. No, miss. Oh, my goodness. I... Pero sí les dije que les iba a tener, mandar tarea, ¿verdad? I remember. Um, yes. No. No. I, I no. don't remember, miss. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyway, so we're going to provide um, here suggestions about the next situation. So we have, for example, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a suggestion of what he should or shouldn't do. So, for example, in your opinion, this is in your opinion. So example, Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something. 
So these are um, some things that you can say about um, what you believe would be better, a um, polite, um, I better said what you believe that it would be a good idea and what you believe is not a good idea. Okay, so then we have other situations like when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She louds, she, sorry, I should say, I think this is a, is a spelling mistake. Um, I think it's, it is, she laughs very loudly. A typo. She laughs very lightly, very loudly, sorry. Okay. All right, so in each one of these situations, I want you to think about what in your opinion would be a good, a good thing to do. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, Mace. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so what I can do is I can give you guys, um, I can put you into breakout rooms with a partner and you can discuss this with them. Okay, um, I'm gonna send you the PowerPoint, sorry, not the PowerPoint, the, the exercise right now. Okay, please tell me if you have received it. Yes, no. Yes, have you received it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, miss. Perfect. Okay. Um, yes, ma'am. Right. So what I'm going to do right now is put you into breakout rooms. Just want to make sure that you guys are there. Raquel, are you there? I'm here. Okay. You can participate. Yes. Solo que acabo de entrar y no sé de la actividad. Oh, uh, this is. If this is from yesterday. Remember that yesterday we learned about using should and should not? Do you remember? Sure. Um, okay. Uh, do you remember or, or not really? Yes. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, that's we're, we're just, the only thing we're doing is uh, we're making sentence. We're making sentences using should or should not, according to the the situation. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, I'm gonna open the rooms right now. Um, by the way, Raquel, um, is your camera? If maybe you can put on the camera. I know that. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Let's open the rooms.
Maida, Maida Elizabeth, have any problems? Maida Elizabeth? Era el negativo y el otro. Uno. Y el show. Yes. Uh -huh. Show y el show. No. Eso es Sí. Y el show es el Después, okay, when you get for me, and write uh, the, the example, okay. No, For example, when Vamos a tomar la, las que están de ejemplo y, y agregando el, el show. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. is hungry. Oh, I write the three example of go vision video. Big use of bad the business. The bossing is made. Business meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, and the uh, and the use the the form. ¿Está <tose>
Um, what happened, girls? Chicas, ¿qué pasó? Hello, teacher. Hello. I write the sample. Okay, so I, I, um, are you working together? You working together? Okay. In her email. In her emails. She should use a salutation in her email. Okay, number four. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She longs very lovely. Lovely, I don't know. Lovely. Lovely. No. Reír, como reírse. Pero loud. loud. Está fuerte. Is a Lucy le gusta hablar o decir yo que si es broma, algo así va. En la oficina ella ríe muy fuerte, ríe muy duro. Lucy likes. Correcto, es muy fuerte. Ok. Lucy show. Show try. 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 Intentar. Oh, try it. Try. 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 T R Y. Lucy should try. Don't tell jokes in the office. Podría ser una. Try in the shop, please. Lucy should try. Don't tell jokes in the office. Actually, we can we say um, she should try not to tell jokes. In the, oh. not, not to tell. Okay. Yeah. Not to. And the correct is not or don't. Or what? Ambas. Okay, say the sentence again. Lucy should, <laughs> Lucy should try mm -hmm. not tell jokes in jokes. the office. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So okay. you should try not to tell, not to tell. Try yes. not to tell. Okay. Lucy should not try to tell jokes in the office. Okay. Uh, the second. Porque quiero que se me seque. ¿Cómo se escribe? Porque no. Pueden ponerla en el chat. Por? Ah. Yo la tengo a ver si. No, es que mañana lo tengo que llevar. ¿Para qué? ¿Para qué? Ya busqué. ¿Qué importa? ¡Mamá! ¿Qué es el In the other Lucy, so out. in the office, the proponent. Ah, también. Uh -huh. sí. Buena idea. In the office. In the office. In the office. Open it up. Why Lucy Shower? Say talk is the office. Office. Okay.
Solo esas, esas cuatro íbamos a, a, a poner. Yes. Ah, donde está only that. Okay, so you're you're finished? Yes, did you? Okay, yes, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go check the other groups. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Are we finished or do you need more time? No, finish. Okay. You're not finished or you are finished? No, finish. You're not I'm finished. Not finished. Not finished. I will finish. Okay, okay. I will wait for you then. Should try not get on. Carl debería tratar de no enojarse. Carl should try not, not get on. Ya se lo está haciendo. 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 Carl should try not get hungry. Ahorita. Ahí miren. Angry, not hungry. Uh, angry. Oh, angry. hungry. <laughs> angry, hungry. Yeah, angry. Angry. Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> angry. Sure. Don't you took your dinner? Or didn't you take your dinner? Um, I don't uh, take dinner at this time. Because um, for me, what it's, time is there? <laughs> it's uh six forty four. It's six forty forty seven in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. We're in the night. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know you're. You are. You have. You're having dinner, and I'm having breakfast. Well, it's Saturday. Saturday day there. Yeah. Right? It's Saturday. Oh. Mm -hmm. You live in the future. <laughs> I live in the future, yeah. <laughs> I come from the future, yes, that's right. Exactly. In Filipinos, I remember that the time is thirteen hours more. Yeah, possibly. Because right now I am, yeah, I think so. You're, I think you're right. Because right now I'm 10 hours ahead of, of El Salvador. <laughs> and I have a friend who lives in Thailand and he's 13 hours um, ahead. So yeah, I think Thailand and, and, and Philippines are in the same time zone. Yeah. What time is it yes. there? 6.47, 49. Uh, in the in the morning. It's where nine. Do you, where no. do you 
No, 6.49 in the morning. Oh, in yeah. the morning. In the morning. I am. A.M. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. yeah. Where do you live, Tishan? Early. Well, um, yeah, very early. Well, I'm not actually live. Well, I'm temporarily living oh. here. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm in this moment. I'm in Georgia. Okay. Georgia, the country. Mm -hmm. And but I live in Turkey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I live in Istanbul, but um, but in Istanbul, it's only nine hours difference. So in Istanbul right now, it's 5.50 in the morning. And, um, but right now I'm in Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Georgia is <laughs> near from <laughs> Turkey. Yeah, Georgia is actually right next to Turkey. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. I will search where is Turkey. <laughs> Turkey, you know, you do you know where Turkey is? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, but it. Turkey, <laughs> yeah, um, let me see if I can. Uh, I'll show you. So, so Turkey. Some people think that Turkey is um, the Middle East, okay, but it's not, okay, um, you know, algunos dicen, ah, que es Medio Oriente, no, no es Medio Oriente, de hecho es, es, es el próximo Oriente, so it's like, it's a connection, it's a connection between um, Europe and Asia, that's where Turkey is. Um, Very far. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it is far. You're right. You're right. It is very, very far. So I'll show you right now. Ooh, okay. Hold on. A little bit but of what time do you have living in this place as it um okay so i've been living in i've been i i, I left um I, I moved to turkey in january mm -hmm. and i i have been living in georgia for a, a month mm -hmm. yeah so I, I i've lived like three months in turkey and one month in Georgia. Okay. Yeah. So it hasn't been very long. Okay. Do you see do you see my my map? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. So so this is this is uh Europe. Okay. Um and so and this is the Middle East. Okay, so this is the Middle East, this is Asia. Okay, so this is Europe, this is Asia, and Turkey is right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's it's the connection. It's a connection. So I I actually live. I live in Istanbul. I live right here. Mm -hmm. That's where that's where my house is. But right now, I am here i am here so I, I this is my home but i'm living here and this yeah this is russia this right here is russia it's a russia so i'm i'm between right now i am between turkey and russia georgia is a country yeah, Georgia is a country. So, so this is this is uh, the border. This is the border of of tur Turkey. So 
So this is. Okay, so this is right here, Georgia. Right here, this is Georgia. So I'm here. This is Russia. Oops. So this is Russia, like here. This is Turkey. It's actually now called Turkey Yay. Okay. And this is um <clears throat> Armenia. And this is um Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. I think I think I think that's what how, how you spell it. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm here in Georgia. So yeah. That's so that's why I'm really far away. Yeah. 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 It's very good. Their yeah. life is different though. Very different. Very, very, very different. Um yeah. It's um yeah, it's it's yeah, it, it, I mean uh the like for example here in Georgia everything is very calm um you know like uh, you know you know in El Salvador everything is like so rushed blah blah blah, blah right here it's all so calm very very calm um mm -hmm. yeah so but there are things that remind me of El Salvador certain things for example it is in in where I'm living in this moment, um, I'm living, I am living in the city, like in the, the capital city, but I'm living in the outskirts of the capital city. So I'm actually in the mountains. I'm, I'm, I'm close to the mountains of the, of, 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 uh, of the, of the city. Like, it's not like, I mean, like big, big, big mountains, but it is on the outside. And so there's like lots of forest and green areas. Um, and there's like a lake. Um, and in the, the, the neighborhood where I live, um, there are small houses that have like uh, farm animals. So I can sometimes hear, oh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I can hear, I can hear the, the roosters. I can hear the cows. I can hear, yeah, I can hear farm animals. Mm -hmm. There are cows here too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, but like not <laughs> like not in the city, really. Like sometimes, in yeah. sometimes, really? <laughs> yes. Okay. I've never I've never <laughs> seen... some some sometimes, sometimes. I've I've seen roosters and anything, but like cows and everything like that. No, no, not really. But yeah, sometimes in the morning I hear the the cows on like Okay, this feels like El Salvador, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. the uh, there are uh, beautiful landscapes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, In El Salvador, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are beautiful uh, landscapes. Um, there are very beautiful landscapes in El Salvador. You go to Ruta de las Flores and it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah no, there is. Okay. Perfect. Bueno. Uh, yeah, no, but there, yeah, no, there, there is lots of things like in El Salvador. It's just that sometimes we don't appreciate all the beauty that El Salvador has. Really. Uh, people but see lake. people see um see pictures of El Salvador and like oh they're so beautiful you know what I had a friend okay listen to this story I'm just gonna quickly tell you this story um so when I was planning to to move to Turkey um I have a friend that lives in Turkey and um you know I post before I, I left um El Salvador I I went to to Ruta de las Flores and I took some pictures by Los Naranjos 
and Dude. I post I posted them on WhatsApp. And then my friend who lives in Turkey, he said, he said, Jessica, why are you want why do you want to come to Turkey when you live in such a beautiful place? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there you go. I mean, people people in other parts of the world want to want to travel to El Salvador. That's yeah, there, are, there are beautiful places here. Yeah, there are. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the main room, okay? So I'll see you in the oh, main okay, room. Okay. Hi, Asali. We see. Okay. ¿Qué les pasó? No, eso preguntamos nosotros. <laughs> o sea, no, no sabemos pero... qué pasó. Nos salimos y nos volvimos a meter porque ya mucho tiempo nos habíamos quedado y, y, y ahorita solo aparecen como cinco. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm bringing everybody back. But yeah, I was like, what, what happened to them? There was a whole bunch of people. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, everybody's coming back. Don't worry. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to be checking the answers. Remember that uh, with this uh, exercise here, you don't, um, uh, there's no one answer. Okay. So don't, don't, don't expect there we're going to be um a, you know saying one answer and that's the only possibility no there, there's many there are many many possibilities but we're just going to give you some examples of certain um sentences okay all right uh, does that make sense for everybody do you understand what i'm saying Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. All right, perfect. Okay, so um, we're going to share right now um, our. Pero chicos, es que me lo sé por alguna razón mi computadora está bien lenta ahorita. ¿Cómo es el dicho? Es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. La computadora uh -huh. lo sabe. La computadora lo sabe. Sí, de pronto no sé qué le pasa. Hoy está como bien rarita. Keep calm, keep calm, miss. ¿Mm? Keep calm, miss. <laughs> Exacto. <laughs> ok, va, hoy sí, hoy sí, creo que está. Aunque quizás mi computadora lo que pasa es que dice no, no, ni siquiera el viernes, ya es sábado, ya, ya déjenme en paz. She wants to rest it. Yeah, I Maybe. think so. I think so. Okay. So, here we go. Um, so first one, when Carl is angry, notice the word is angry, not hungry, not angry. Okay, when you say when you say angry, it sounds like hungry. It's not hungry, it's angry. Angry. Yeah. Okay. Angry. Angry. All right, so when Carl is angry. 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 He's angry. Yeah. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. So Shout. what could you tell me? Shout a shout is a little gritar. Yeah, he, yeah, he shouts. Okay. Yeah. So what could you tell me about Bo Carl? Shout. Shout. Shouts. Chau. Chau. So what can you tell me? Chau. 
car chores children be called done should or shouldn't sure the car hold on should or shouldn't uh -huh. sure should okay car should uh the car done because oh, oh okay hold on charl done um, sorry carl should calm down Mm -hmm. Because the verb is calm down, not be uh, calm down. It's just calm okay. down. Okay. All right. So Carl should calm down. Mm -hmm. uh, another possibility. And the the other possibility means uh, Carl should have a little passion. Carl should have a little patience. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And if we want to make negative sentences, we can also say Carl shouldn't or should not shout. Should not shout. Okay. Okay. If we want to make negative sentences. Okay. Next. Remember, I told you there are many possibilities, but these are just some examples. Okay, so my sister never uses a salutation in her emails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Class, ideas, she should, she should. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Show you use. use okay. Salutations. Salutations. In her emails. In her emails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other ideas? No. My assistant showed more quotes in her in her emails. Okay, my assistant should should what? More. Okay, what's the verb? Um, show more quotes in okay. her. Good. Th that's a good idea, but I need a verb. Ah, okay. So should be like exactly very good. That'd be excellent. Should be, be more, more courteous. Yes, in okay. her in her emails. Excellent. Emails. Okay, very good. Should be more courteous in her emails. Okay, right. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She she laughs. Remember the remember that this was a typo. She laughs. She laughs very loudly. So what can you tell me about about that? Lucy should be respectful with the co-workers. Lucy should be respectful. Respectful. With um, with the co-worker the co or, or the other. Okay. Anything else? Lucy should try not to laugh very very loudly. Okay. Anything else? Or if you want to make it negative, we could say Lucy shouldn't or should not laugh loudly. Mm -hmm. Right? So something like that. 
Okay. Any questions about this? Questions, guys? No, miss. No, teacher. Okay. All right. So we got this. Um, let's move on to the next part. So we have an introduction here of some questions. Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Do you understand the word brief? Oops. Okay. Uh, should emails be brief or long? Do we understand the word brief? Brief is like short. Short. It's, it's, no. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So when you say brief, uh, we're, it's another word of, it's a uh, brief is like a, a very formal way of saying short. Short or, or breve in Spanish. Right. Okay. So should, uh, and last one, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? So I'm going to um, ask you to uh, discuss these questions with uh, a small group. Okay, so let me copy the questions. And I'm going to be sending them to the group. Okay, tell me if you receive the questions. <clears throat> yes, no. Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes, Miss. Perfect. Yes, teacher. All right. Um, all right. I just want to make sure that some people are there. Jorge Ernesto, are you there? Not yet, no. Okay. Um, hmm. Yes, Miss, I am. I am. Oh, you I'm are. Sorry. Okay, okay, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, Edita Dilia? Yes. Are you there? Are you? Yes. Are you? Okay, all right, perfect. And Raquel Elizabeth, are you there? Yes. Yes, okay. All right. Marlon, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Bye. Eh, solo, uh, asegúrense de que cuando entremos a los, a los grupos, enciendan su cámara para que sus compañeros no sientan como que están hablando con nadie, ¿verdad? O sea, queremos ver a, a sus caritas para que podamos tener una mejor interacción. Um, Okay, so I'm opening the rooms right now, and I want you to discuss these questions. Here we go. In my work, in my work, in my work, no. Because my my work is the uh, is more is more technical. It's more 
I don't I don't have a computer. I uh, uh, I'm not I'm not work uh in the co with uh with uh, with computer. Okay. No. About you, I don't know. Well, in my case, yeah, I have to send emails. Not every day, but almost in the week. Yeah. In the week, mm, about three times. Mm -hmm. Three times in the week. Uh, for documents and other things. Okay. And you, Marlon? Uh, Do you send I, email every day? Yes. In my work, I send oh. email every day. Um, After time. And client. Um, uh, 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 how do you say? Proveedores. I suppose Providers. I suppose that it's important in your company uh, yes. send emails. Yes, yeah. uh, my company uh, work the the development uh, product textile. I need a printed uh, level, flexographic. Ah, yeah. Uh, Yes, it's very important to uh, send emails yesterday. Okay, okay, I know. About you, Asalia? Uh, Asalia is not, um, is not able to participate right now. So, yeah, so don't worry, just okay, the three of you, okay? Okay, me. thank you. Oh, uh, well, friends, uh, the other question, should emails? Effective email. Menciona tres tipos de... de correos efectivos, quizá. Yes. Ajá. Tres tips para correo. The, the answer are um, the number one to be clear and brief. To be let me see, let me see. I don't know. The emails must be short. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. do, do not use exclam exclamation marks. Mm. Maybe. Cuando dice efectivo, ¿a qué se refiere? Hola. Hola. 
Porque Hello. Okay. Hello. Cuando dice efectivo, hola. Cuando dice efectivo, ¿a qué se refiere? Mm. Remember, try mm. to keep um, always in English. Try to ask in English. Or or more must be objective. Oh, uh -huh. okay, objective. Mm -hmm. Do not use okay. capital letter in the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, it's correct. Um, well, writing to be well, well, right. Okay. All right. Um, everybody's back, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to be um, sharing the answers that you talked about with your classmates. We will share it right now. So um, let's take a look at the first one. First question is, do you send emails every day? Do you send emails? In my, case, in my case, yes, I do. I you send do? emails all day. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. What about the rest? In my of case, mm -hmm. in my case, Miss, no, no, uh, I don't work uh, uh, by uh, for computer uh, with computer. Sorry, you don't work uh, with a computer. No, no, my work is is more technical. It more uh -huh. is more practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Very In my good. case. Oh. All right. What about the rest of you? In my case, all day, all day, I send a, a Gmail. Okay. Very good. Very good. Any other? I. Anybody else wants to share? No. Okay. Well, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, um, not not every day, but a few days in the week, I okay. write emails and send it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Should emails be brief or long? What do you think? Brief should be brief, Miss. Brief, everybody thinks brief. Yeah, I think it, it depends uh, because um, in the in the in the conversation that we have, mm -hmm. uh, some people send emails, but only a few emails, and they're uh, for the for the job that they have, mm -hmm. they have to 
give a lot of information. Okay. In my case, I, in my case, I send a lot of emails, so so I have to be very brief. Oh, but okay. in their case, they they send a few emails there, and they have to explain everything. Okay. And give a lot of information. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, in my case, means uh, I occupy my uh, my personal emails. Right, and my emails are uh, brief. My emails, uh, when I when I type my emails, uh, I write, uh, I type, be brief, uh, the emails. That's what you write. Be be brief. Uh, uh, type type is is, is the uh, type. Uh, mm -hmm. digital mm -hmm. yeah okay uh, when I type uh, my email my personal emails I type uh, be brief mm, okay it's, the, uh, it's a small it's in it's more a small form to my emails with my uh, my emails my personal emails when I send oh. the other person okay mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now what about tips? Can you give me, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Well, try don't be rude in the emails. Okay, and don't be rude in emails, okay. Use polite requests. Okay. And Good. don't type long emails about something. Try to be brief. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ismail. More tips that you can mention? Uh, going to the point. Okay, get to the point. Okay. Get to the point. Okay. And usually we say get straight to the point. Mm -hmm. uh, straight, straight, straight to the point. Straight the, yeah, straight to the point. Any other, um, any other tips? No? Okay. All right. Now, yesterday we kind of talked a little about this. Uh, do you remember that I asked you which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? But do you remember this? So yes, we talked about using all capitals, right? Well, what's the problem with using all capitals? The problem with that? Maybe they think that we are la la screaming. <laughs> right. It sounds like you're screaming, right? And therefore, it sounds like you're angry, right? Which is very rude. Okay. Uh, we also talked about avoiding the subject important, right? Why? What's the problem with using important as a subject? Can you repeat the question, please? So we said avoid using the subject important. Why is it important not to use the word important as a subject? For me, it's important. So, sorry, could you repeat that? Sarah? For me, uh, yes, important subject in, in Gmail. 
Okay, so here it says avoid using the subject important. Avoid means to not use it. Why is it important not to use the word important? Uh, but I think yes, important. Okay. Okay, so Sara says that she would use the word important. What about the rest of you? Would, would you use the word important? Mm -hmm. mm, well, I think that if we use the word important in an email, the people can feel that we are pressed Pressuring. 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 Pressuring them. Okay. They may feel pressured. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Sorry, Miss. I don't have clear the question yet. Okay. Mm. So, right here. Is avoid using the subject important. What is subject? Mm, the subject is in Spanish. Tell me in Spanish. What is subject? Say su su sujeto. <laughs> uh -huh, but Hello. but yeah, you're Hello. right. But but in in terms of emails, Hello. what is what is subject? Wow. Asunto. El asunto. El asunto. Oh, okay. Okay. So thank you. So we should mm -hmm. avoid, so we should not use the title important when we are writing the subject. So the subject. in la parte de asunto, no de hay que poner important o importante. Why? Why not? Ah, ah okay. What's the problem? Okay. okay. I got it. I, I think about this. What's the problem with that? I think all all illness are important. It is it's illo illogic illogic put the important in the in the in in the subject. Okay, all right, so that, that's one idea. So the fact that they're all important. Okay, so yes, that's true. Anything else? Anything else? Any other reasons? Okay, and so maybe, mm -hmm. oh, sorry. no, no, go ahead, go ahead, tell me, Denise. If everyone use this word, maybe can lose like the meaning of the word important. Very good. Okay, so that's one point. That's a very good and valid point. So imagine you get many emails that say important, 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 important. Are you going to pay attention to them? <laughs> Probably not, because all of no. them say important, right? So yes, they it loses its its meaning if you just if all of if everything that you write is says important. Okay, that's it's, one. It's it's better it's better type the uh, I don't know the the one word about the the emails. Right. Um, don't put uh, important or don't put urgent. Uh, it's it's not correct. Yeah, exactly. So imagine imagine I receive ten emails and they all say important, and I'm a very busy person. What do you think I'm going to do? Uh, 
I'm a very busy person. I, I received 10 emails. They all say important. What do you think I'm going to do? Delete all. Well, hopefully I won't delete them, but am I going to pay attention to them? No. Probably no. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably not. I'm just going to look at them and say, oh, okay, well, all of them important. I'll, I'll look at them when I have time, right? So it's not going to help me. But if I am very specific in the subject and I say, why do I think it's important? Like, what is the email about? Ah, then I can say, ah, yes, this is important. If I know, if I have an idea, a better idea of what the email is about, I can, I, I can identify if something is important or not. Does that make sense? Sure, I, I have understand that the word important uh, next to other words is not correct, but um, you say only subject important right right but but uh if i if i send a mail with subject important to make um the choice today is is that correct okay but what a choice about what uh i don't know um, um yeah uh, yeah i i but we have to be very specific. That's the point here, because the word important is too, is too vague, it's too general. So why should it be important? So uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was you or somebody else that you said mentioned yesterday, what is important to you may not be necessarily important to me. So um, I, so who needs to decide what's important? Well, the person that receives the email. It, what's important to them, right? So they have to prioritize the emails. And so if I know, if I receive 10 emails and I know exactly from the, from the heading what the email is about, I can prioritize according to what is important to me. Does that make sense? Yeah, I say, I say previously, Miss, the, for me, the, all, all illness is, is important. Right. All illness is important. It's a logic uh, type uh, type uh, important in the in the subject. Uh, for example, when I when I send uh, when I send that uh, my resume person my personal resume, uh, I don't I don't type in the subject. My uh, my res uh, my resume mm -hmm. is important, or my resume per personal resume important? No, no, it's it's the it's uh it's the name the 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 in the subject it's the name the the emails right? It's the mm -hmm. title the the email exactly. But it it is it is it, it, all the all the emails is. Uh, are important. Exactly. All emails are important. But the thing is that it's not the fact that if, if it's important or not. It's how I am going to prioritize which email I'm going to read first. And to be able to, for me, to prioritize which email I'm going to read, I have to know what it's about. So just get telling me important doesn't tell me if it's, I need to prioritize that or not. But if you tell me exactly what the email is about, I can say, ah, okay, this I need to re read first, and then I read the others. Does that make sense? Yes, miss. Yeah? Okay, all right. We also talked about using a formal salutation. It, is that important in any uh, formal email? Formal, we're not talking about just a, uh, an email to a friend. A formal email, is that important? Imagine that your boss, imagine that your boss wrote to you and you, they said, hey, I need a blah, 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 blah. How would you feel? 
uh, use a formal it's solution is formal. Yeah. You wouldn't take your you wouldn't take them seriously, would you? Right? If they are just saying like things like, hey, right? If it's if it's a if it's a formal email and they're using hey, probably not taking it very seriously. Okay, be brief. In my yeah, if, okay, okay. In my in, in my personal in my personal emails, I I use formal solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's important. It's important the formal sol solution. Igual, uh, when I send when I send emails with, uh, uh, to my friends, uh, uh, formal. I use formal sol solution. Sa solution. Salutation. Salu oh, sorry. Okay. Salutation. Salutation. Sal Salutari. Yeah. <laughs> I <don't> remember that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember it. Salutation. Okay. Salutation. Salutation. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. All right, excellent. Now, the other one be brief, right? So don't write a long email because the same idea of what we've been talking about. Um, many people receive many, many emails a day. And so if you are writing long emails, it's going to get lost. Okay. They're probably going to look at it and not really read it. That's what's going to happen. Some, imagine you send an, a long email to somebody that is very busy. What are they going to do? Maybe they'll open it, but they won't read it. Not everything. Because they just don't have time. All right. And express clearly why you are writing. So um, go straight to the point and say, I'm writing because of this. In English, it's very common to go directly into the point and say, um, I'm writing to you because blah, 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 blah. Very, very common because we want to know exactly what's the purpose of that email. It's different like in Spanish. I always say in Spanish, my goodness, it's like, Eh, deseándole que tenga éxitos en sus labores, blah, 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 blah. They, they, they make this big, long introduction. And that's fine for, for Spanish speakers, but we're learning how to make formal emails in English. And in English, that's considered rude, okay? If you're writing lots of information, that's considered rude. So it loses its point of being nice. No, it's it's rude. It's like, okay, just tell me what you need. Right? Okay. In fact, in fact means some mm -hmm. people don't like this. Right? And uh, they write, uh, read the, the, uh, the long emails. Mm -hmm. uh, some people don't like it. Right, exactly. Don't like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's kind of like a, a disrespect to someone it's somebody's time. Right? Because they're they're reading things and, and maybe their time is like gold literally. So yeah. Okay, and it says do not use abbreviations, right? So uh don't abbreviate words like info. Thanks for the info. No, thanks for the information. Okay, make it sound formal. Do not use smileys, right? So don't, because smileys um, in a formal email make it informal, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do right now, uh, we have this short conversation. Um, I want you um, to help me read this conversation. I need two volunteers. Amanda and Luis, can you help me? Uh, somebody? Who can help me? Sure, teacher. Okay. All right, you can read. Do you want to read Amanda or Luis? Amanda. Okay, all right. And who wants to read Luis? Uh, me, teacher. Perfect, okay, go for it. 
Do you often uh, see emails? Uh, yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it's not. Uh, 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 no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, very good. All right, so what I want you to do is to continue this conversation between Luis and Amanda. Uh, what are other tips that you can give for writing effective emails, formal effective emails? Okay, so I'm going to put you into breakout rooms, continue this conversation and talk about tips. Okay, just gonna make sure that the people, everybody is here. Um, Madeline, are you here? Yes, sure. Okay. Raquel? Yes. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> um, Edith, are you there? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna open the rooms right now, short conversation here, and here we go. Conversation. Uh, the conversation that we that that we read and then continue talking talking about about like um like I I don't remember uh, it's teacher means. Yes. Uh, are you going to send the conversation? Um. Do you need the conversation? Oh, oh. It's just it's just to continue it, like talking about the tips. Uh, but I can, but I can, I can send it. It's not a problem. No, I, I, I don't know if if maybe Asalia and Sara. The, the conversation practicing in the, this conversation. By the way, Asalia uh, cannot participate right now. So I want to meet you and, and, and Sara. Okay. Okay. Armando and Luis, this conversation. Yeah. Ah, okay. Practice. Huh? Mm -hmm. We have to practice and continue, continue. With the conversation. Okay. If you want, I can be Luis. Um, yes, you can be a man. Okay. Um, do you do offense and emails? Uh, yes, I do. Um, it is appropriate to use abbreviations. I, I, how do you say abbreviation? Abbreviations. Abbreviation. Abbreviations. Abbre? Abbreviations. Abbreviation in business Gmail. Emails. No, it is not professional. Um I see. Could you charge more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. 
uh, for example, one tip could be uh, be brief in your emails. Um. Brief? Yes, brief, and also you can, you can be, you can do a, a salutation. Yes, in emails? Formal, yes. Uh -huh. In emails. Yes, I salutation. Uh, what yeah, do you in, want? In, how do you say al terminar el correo? Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. At, at, the, at the end of, of, of the email, I think. <laughs> the, the first, uh, ah, first uh -huh, uh -huh. is the first, uh, for example, uh, good, good. Good morning or good afternoon. Y later uh -huh. the the body the correo. Y later uh, uh -huh. salutation. Bis regans, for example. Yes, and maybe use the word thank you and maybe uh, and please yes, thank <laughs> you or uh -huh. thank you or saludos. I uh -huh. how do you, I is example. Some sometimes I I read something like regards, the word regards, but I don't know the meaning of the that word. The yeah, the card. Regards. I, yeah. I remember it's, something it's like that. It's a way. It's a way of um of closing a sen uh, a, a yeah. Yeah. Nima. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you send email. What formal, uh, what formal tips do you use in? Size, size. Okay, let me see. And uh, Amanda. Okay, Amanda. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Please. Yes. Sure. Okay. Luis. Okay, Amanda. First time. You should type uh, a brief email. And the second, you must type just ideas clear and concise. Um, the other, I don't know, Edit, what about you? The other tips? Hello, puse que los. Make sure. Yes, yes. Que los it, sean yes, it, 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 it's the same. It's the same that You should type, type the brief email. Or no, it's small. It's small. It's small email. Yes, because brief in mm -hmm. Spanish is is breve. It's small. It's it's not. It's not the same. Yes, it's not this is it's mm. not this the same. Okay, it, it's it's good. It's good. Um, mm. the order. Um, don't use. Uh, juice should.
Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, guys. Uh, great. So we we probably talked a little bit about that with our um, classmates. Any other uh, tips that you guys want to share? Things that you talked about? Other tip? Mm -hmm. Any other tip that you guys talked about? We talked about saying uh, thank you and please. If okay. we request something. Okay. Very good. Anything else? Any other tip? No, that's it. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look here. <clears throat> this information it says. Read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. Okay, for, for the formal emails, discuss what tips will be used to make them formal. Okay, so I'm going to um, get everybody to help me read the tips. Okay, so, um, okay, so in my list here, uh, we'll start with, Carlos, Carlos Alberto, can you read number one? Number one, and, uh, uh, number one, okay. Here, here, here. Okay, yeah, I see. Um, fill, fill in the subject, subject line with that topic. Relevant uh, to your recipients and not just document or important. Good. So what we've been talking about, right, right? So actually tell us what the topic is. Very good. Um, next, Carlos Eliezer. <clears throat> um, include a polite salutation and their miss, Mr. Their miss, good morning, uh, et cetera. Good. Salutation. Salutation. Yes, perfect. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Next, uh, Denise, number three. Uh, write your main point in the opening sentence. Wonderful. Okay. So the opening sentence should tell us why you're writing. Go straight to the point. I'm writing because of this. Okay. Diana, number four. Okay. Don't use all capital or a lower case letter. Good. Okay. So don't be writing everything capital because it looks like you're shouting. But what's the problem with using all lower case letters? What's the problem with that? Picture what it means lower case. So, um, Okay, so for example, this is this is capital letters, and this is lowercase letters. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so what's the problem with using all lowercase letters? <clears throat> mm, because it's not grammatical, grammatically correct? Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> Remember that sentences start with capital letters. Uh, names of places of people start with capital letters. Uh, the subject I starts with capital letter. So if you're writing everything in lowercase letter, then it sounds like you don't know the grammar, like you don't know correct spelling, you don't cor know correct grammar, okay? It looks like you are, um, you're not educated enough, okay? 
All right, uh, number five, um, Edith. Can you read it for us? Avoid, abbreviation. AG, abbreviation, AG, eh, how do you, no sé cómo se dice LZ. ELZ. Perdón. Ex oh, you mean the e example? Example. So, what is your question? Edith? Hola. What, what is your question? Five. Uh, what is your question? What, what do you want to know? I don't understand. You asked me a question. I don't know what it is. Can you repeat your question? Um, how, how do you say PLZ? Just, just, just say PL, PLZ. Mm -hmm. P L C P L Z. To spell it out. P L Z. 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 No, not G. No, Z. 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 D. No, D. D. No, Z. Z. Come, like, like, imagine like a, like a, like a B. Z. Right. So, Z. Z. P P P L P L C Z. Uh huh. Good. Okay. Very very good. All right. So yes. Yeah, so we should not do abbreviations. Um. You know, so that it doesn't look like it's informal. Good. Thank you. All right. Um. Next we'll have. Um. Ismael, can you read number six? Yes, please. Uh, be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. All right. Very that's straightforward, right? Okay. Good. Um, Jorge Resto, can you read number seven? Sure. Be brief. Is your massage is still around? Consider using an attachment. Yeah, very good. Okay. So Instead, if you want to, uh, like the, the message itself in the email should be short, should be very brief. If you want to write a longer thing, then you write it as an attachment, like a letter, for example. Okay, very good. Um, let's see. Um, Marlon, Marlon, can you help me out with um, number eight? Uh, use a uh, closing price, like best regards. Regards, looking forward to your work, to your comments, ATC. Okay, very good. So close the 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 email with a like um regards regard um. Best regards, looking forward to your comment. So uh, be polite by closing, not just, it, don't just make the, the, the email boop, stop, right? Be, be polite. Maida, can you help us with number nine? Yes, teacher. Uh, to number nine, add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, business, address, and phone number. Good. Okay. So make sure that um, the person has um, enough information about who you are to be able to contact you back. And finally, number 10, um, Raquel. Can you help us, Raquel? Indeed. And Ro, Rovir, 
proofread for proofread proofread, proofread. Mm -hmm. proofread before you send the messenger message. the message yes. message very good okay so edit to right so change anything that you need to change and proofread proofread means to read again to see if there's no uh, mistakes like no spelling mistakes or you forgot a period or a capital letter or things like that that's proofread okay okay so now that you have those tips let's see this uh email here I'll read it. it says send it to peter at mail.com subject Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. What do you think? Is that formal or informal? It's formal. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I forgot the end. See you. It's, formal or informal? It's formal for me. It's formal. For you, it's formal? For I me, it is informal. informal. Uh huh. For me too. Informal. Informal. Too. Yeah, you're right. It's informal. Why? They're using abbreviations. Good. Okay. Yes. We're use, they're using abbreviations like CU. Right. There's a abbreviation, abbreviation there. What else? The subject is not specific exactly the subject is not specific so saturday what what about saturday saturday is a whole day <laughs> well what about it okay what what else what else is the problem doesn't have a salutation good it has no salutation yeah and anything else It's very vague it's as well, but notice that prepare everything for the event. What event? Right? What are we talking about here? Right? You don't know if maybe I have lots of events. So what, what, what event are we talking about? And mm -hmm. it says, don't forget the things. What things? What things? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I have a million things in my mind. I don't remember what things you're talking about. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And the last one we have um, email is to robert at mail.com, subject tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Formal or informal? <clears throat> It's formal, but I have a question. Okay, just give me a moment. Um, so formal or informal? Informal contains a abbreviation. Where is the abbreviation? IT. IT is abbreviation. It's form. Okay, it's form. Yeah, I think you're talking about the don't. That part you're right. If you're talking about the don't, then yeah, that's an that's an abbreviation and it should not be there. It should say do not. But other than that, it's formal. Okay, uh, Ismail, you had a question. Uh, that was my question about the don't. don't. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the only one that we would have to proofread. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. I am going to um, I'm going just to take the attendance quickly.
Okay. All right, so here we go. Sorry, guys, my computer is really slow today. I don't know what's going on. Okay, Ana Victoria Galan. Okay. Uh, Asalia Melanie Portillo. Asalia. No, not here. Carlos Alberto. Or oh, Asalia, okay. All right, uh, Carlos Alberto Reo. I'm here. Very good. Uh, Carlos Elise Primas. I, I hear. Great. Denise Alejandro Zuniga. Alejandro Zuniga. Present. Present. Okay. Very good. Um, Diana Present. Jamilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Edith Adilia Hernandez. Present. Great. Emerson Adiel. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present. Eh, Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Mar Present, teacher. Present. Present. Great. Great. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Great. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. Great. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Great. Uh, Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sandra. Eh, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present. Great. Sergio Chamorro. Present, teacher. And Vilma Elizabeth Arquian. Present, teacher. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. That's going to be all for today. Um, and I will, I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Okay. So, sorry, sorry, not tomorrow, <laughs> on um, Monday, okay? So have a good yes. weekend. Oh and my gosh. I, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh my goodness, oh, I know, God. not tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be partying tomorrow. <laughs> I'm tomorrow scared. is Sunday. I scared. <laughs> no, <I'm> not. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'll see you Monday, all right? Take care. Take care. Bye. Thank hey, you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. <clears throat> Take care, everyone. Bye, miss. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Uh -huh. Ana Victoria, are you still there? Ana Victoria.